Hi everyone, it's Sonia from Angel Light Healing here. Thank you so much for joining me. This is your Twin Flame reading, What Does the Divine Feminine Want to Tell the Divine Masculine? If you are after your own personal reading or a Twin Flame reading, get in contact with me at angellighthealingatoutlook.com. Thank you for those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button and like and share my videos. Okay guys, so... Today, as I've mentioned in my other videos for today, it is a powerful day for manifesting. Today's the 8th of the 8th. We are in the Lion's Portal and the Gateway is opening up today, which is a powerful day to manifest what it is that you desire. Okay, so I've done a little video on that as well. But today, um, the manifestation is actually going to be accelerated. So everything is going to um, just go faster, pretty much. So really pay attention to what you're thinking um, and always come from a place of love and listen to your heart because that's what the line is. The line is always about courage and strength and listening to your heart. So I did do a video on the lines portal. Go and check that out. Okay, guys, let's get started with this reading. What does the divine feminine want to tell the masculine? Wow. Okay. The reason I said wow is because this is the first card that the Divine Masculine had for the Feminine. The answers you need are coming in. This is a full moon in Gemini. Okay, so some of the Masculines may be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or this could be the Feminine. Guys, you are mirroring, mirroring each other. Both of you want answers here. So it's not just one-sided. The Divine Feminine is saying that she needs answers from her Divine Masculine. Okay, and she knows that these will be coming soon. Blue is the color of the throat chakra. It represents communication. I say, okay, so these answers are going to come in some way, some form here of communication. It could be um, actual verbal communication. It could be a text. It could be um, a message, a letter, however it applies to you. But I do feel that, um, yeah, there are answers. There are there are questions here that need to be asked, okay? Something that the feminine has been holding back from asking because you guys have been in separation, all right? But this is also the divine masculine wanting answers from the divine feminine. So it's vice versa here. Wow. The full moon also represents um, letting go of negativity. So for some of you, you've been thinking negatively hear about this connection and it's because you haven't had the answers you don't know what is actually going on okay so don't jump don't jump don't assume don't attack you're going to get the answers that you need okay the next card yeah wow same card as the divine masculine had for the feminine have faith in your dreams the divine feminine is saying here to her divine masculine she does have faith in this connection even if things have been difficult or challenging in the past with this connection she's maintaining her faith in her dream which is to be in union okay with her divine masculine you've got the um the moon here which is white and dark this is about changes coming okay so she knows this she's feeling this and that's really exciting. What's the next card? Yeah, guys, look, a new moon in Gemini. There is a new start here. There is a new beginning. Communication is key. So important. This is what the Divine Feminine is waiting for. She's waiting for communication from her masculine. She wants answers. She wants to communicate her emotions. Blue also represents emotions as well as communication as well as the throat chakra. So she wants to talk about... Um, her emotions here and she wants her divine masculine to open up as well she knows that communication is important okay again could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius take it how it applies but the new moon is all about a new beginning and today manifesting at its best and at its highest and at its fastest as well look at that empowerment the Divine Feminine is feeling empowered here. She's feeling like she's in her power, which is amazing. And today, she's going to be feeling it even more because we are in the Lion's Gate. We are in this portal. But today, even more because it's the 8th of the 8th. It's infinity. Okay, so the Divine Feminine is feeling... Um, she's feeling empowered here. Some of the Divine Feminines have had to let go of their masculine in order to gain this power back. Okay, so the Divine Feminine is realizing that um, this power uh, 
she's not using it in a negative way. She's actually embracing it and she's coming from a place of love because she knows that love is the ultimate power. It's all that she needs is love. All right. Some of the divine feminines are also standing their ground. They're standing in their power here. And they're not allowing outside influences here to dictate how um, this connection should go. All right. So they're standing in their own um, power and they're feeling good from, from this distance. Okay. They're feeling um, more positive. All right. Because they're listening to their heart. Contemplation time is the next card. There you go. So the Divine Feminine is taking some time out, especially today, to really think about her masculine, to think about this connection, and to manifest her dreams and desires, which is union. This is what she wants. Some of the Divine Feminines have been spending time, you know, just uh, grounding their energy, clearing their thoughts, thinking about things, and not jumping, not reacting in a negative way, because they understand that their Divine Masculine is also going through perhaps some struggles at the moment. This could relate to children. This could relate to custody. This could relate to separation, divorce with their karmic. So they're understanding. The Divine Feminine is, is quite understanding here. All right, but you've got a, a red um, parrot here. So some of the Divine Feminines have been listening to, you know, um, others but the red is negativity, red flags here. So the Divine Feminine is doing her best to not pay attention to um, the haters. She's not paying attention to the negativity because this is weighing down her energy. All right. She's really listening to her heart. And this could also be her thoughts as well, which could be weighing her down and feeling overwhelmed. So she's really taking some time out here. Just to sit alone with her thought, with her, yeah, with her being. The next cards are from the magical messages from the fairies. And the card is easy does it, yeah. So the Divine Feminine has been um, looking after herself, looking after her energy. She's been protecting herself here. She's been getting her power back, okay. But she's saying here that um, she stopped trying so hard. She stopped trying to be pushy. She's stopped trying to be controlling um, of this situation of her divine masculine. So she has taken a step back, okay? And she's really been focusing on herself um, and what it is she needs to do to heal. Okay, she knows that everything will work out. And look at this, it's saying, stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. Well, hey guys, that door's opening today. It's a massive door opening today. Look at that. You've got the power. Yep. The Divine Feminine knows she's got the power. And I'm not saying this in a negative way. She knows that she has the power within herself to make the changes she needs to make in order to manifest this union. Okay, so some of the Divine Feminines um, have been walking this tightrope. So they've been following, you know, their own inner guidance here. Some of them have fallen, um, but they've gotten back up. Look, they're not giving up. They're, you know, maintaining their faith in, the, in this connection. Um, and they're doing a great job at this. So um, she knows that she can do it. She's not giving up. Okay, so this is beautiful. Wow, 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 wow. Powerful, powerful. Okay, two romance angels. Look at that. What does the Divine Feminine want? She wants a union. She wants a commitment. She wants a marriage with her Divine Masculine. This is what she dreams about. This is what she desires. This is the ultimate gift, is this union. Some of the Divine Feminines may be in a current marriage at the moment. Okay, which is causing a blockage for this union to come about. This could also be the Divine Masculine. Okay, again, the Divine Feminine could be going through a divorce custody battle here as well as the Divine Masculine. So just take it how it applies. But ultimately, your Divine Feminine wants union. The next card is finances and career. Yeah, so as I said, it could definitely be um, inheritance, custody, battle here, working out the finances in order to, you know, move on. 
with this connection. So some of the Divine Feminines have been focusing on their career. They've been focusing on um, building their future. Some of the Divine Feminines are in a uh, executive role here. They're in a powerful job. Okay, so they, they have power in their job. They are, again, executive. They are um, someone's boss, perhaps. Okay, so yeah, the Divine Feminine is, you know, building her portfolio here. She's focusing on her career. She's focusing on building a future so she doesn't have to work so hard um, later on. Now, Divine Masculine, the Divine Feminine has two angel answers here for you. So think of a question that you want to ask your Divine Feminine in regards to this connection. Okay, so the first card that we have is ask for help from others. Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine is telling you here, perhaps you've been too stubborn and you don't want to seek help from others. So it is more powerful for you to ask for help than to sit um, in procrastination to try and handle everything by yourself. Okay, it's, it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to ask for help. The Divine Feminine is also telling you here that she is here ready to help you. If you ask her, Okay, it doesn't mean that you're weak. It doesn't mean that you're helpless. The Divine Feminine wants to help you as well. If these are the answers to your question. The next card, look at that. You got a yes. Yes, Divine Masculine. Your Divine Feminine thinks about you. She loves you. She adores you. She wants this connection. She wants this union. She wants this marriage. So, this is about you moving forward towards your divine feminine. Communicate. She needs these answers. Communicate. That's the key. All right. So what is, right now, what is this number? Oh, my gosh, guys. I'm going to get my clock, see if you guys can see it. Can you see that? Look at the number on that clock. 1111. This is powerful. This is symbolic. I'm so excited for you guys. Yay. All right. What's the number? Yep. Just like the masculine reading, there's the number five. Five is changed. Today's powerful. It's a powerful change, guys. I'm so excited for you. Okay. Manifest your dreams and desires. This lion's gate, it's open today. The 8th of the 8th. Five can also represent the month of May. Um, look up the angel number five and see how it resonates with you. But I'm telling you now, it is the number of powerful change. And if I flip it over, look at that. There you are. There's the twins. It's a powerful change for this connection. Absolutely amazing. All right, guys, that is your twin flame reading for today. If you are after your own personal reading or a twin flame reading, get in contact with me at angellighthealingatoutlook.com. Details are in the description box below. And also, please don't forget, hit that subscribe button, like and share my videos. I just want to take an opportunity to quickly thank you all uh, for subscribing and for liking my videos and for your amazing comments. Okay, guys. Happy manifesting. Don't forget to check out my um, Lion Gate Portal video that I've just put on as well today, just to get an idea and a sense of what today means, okay, and how powerful it is. Many angel blessings to you all.